Hi guys, welcome to that pillow show. Dan here. Mick here. Hello. Epic, Daniel. Epic, epic, epic noises. There are many reasons for epic noises today. Yes, there are. Okay, so we haven't done a pick and mix in ages, and we are going to change the format of pick and mix soon to include some kind of music, but we're not quite there yet, so... Um, yeah, <laughs> certainly not there at the moment. <laughs> today is exciting for many reasons, not least which are on the board there, but there are two, three other reasons that are exciting today. Thing one, Dan? Thing one! Uh, uh. I've got a DC-30. Uh, sorry, it's an HC-30. It's, yeah. the, it's the head version of the matchless DC-30. And, uh, and you're very happy. I'm delighted beyond words. I, I, there's, yeah, okay, I thought the backlight wasn't on underneath over there, but I think it probably is. Okay. I was starting to have a little OCD freak out. Um, I just got to check. Okay. Because I think it you is. Check. But I, I don't know whether it's just the glow off the matchless or... Oh no, it's on. It's on. It's loud and proud, Dan. Everything's fine. That's thing number one that's exciting. Thing number two, we're in our new studio. It's the first time we've recorded guitar in here, apart from Simon Jarrett on Friday. Yes. Uh, but this I'm first, liking it. First time you and I have yeah. played guitar in this room. True story. I haven't picked up a guitar since we finished this. No way. This will be the first time. Wow. So that's okay. thing number two. Thing number three, our new assistant has started, who shall remain unnamed until we can name him. If he wants to be named or not. And he sat right there. He's laughing. <laughs> Assuming he doesn't run for the hills after the end of the first week. Yeah, um, yeah. We shall name him and reveal him. Yeah. Don him with a ceremonial cape. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Pick and mix today. Pedals today. <coughs> we have the Union Tube and Transistor. Woo! Got to get this right. Tor bender. Tor bender. Uni Union tube and transistor. Tor bender. We have the MTG tube distortion by Fender. We have the diamond vibrato. Finally, a show for diamond on the <laughs> pedal show. <laughs> yes, and also the Hall of Fame two times four, which I guess is the Hall of Fame eight uh, by TC Electronic. <laughs> Hilarious. You know that? And there's something lurking over in the back there as well. There is. But we'll get to that in a second. Okay. All right. Let's dive straight in then. Um, Union Tube and Transistor. I came across these guys. They're from Canada, um, up there above the United States of America. Right. Um, and love their branding straight off, straight out the gate. It's mm -hmm. just just looks so cool, doesn't it? And yep. they do a range of things that are overdrives, treble boosters, um, fuzzes, uh, a compressor, and a whole bunch of stuff. This is the Tor Bender. Mm -hmm which is based on their Sohn Bender. Now the Sohn Bender is a germanium fuzz that borrows from the 60s classic, uh, but cleans up like a fuzz face. Okay. That's the Sohn Bender. What this is, is the Tor Bender, which is a silicon version of the Sohn Bender. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> they, have <laughs> they have two versions. One is the deluxe version, which has a wooden box, a bandana, and a laser engraved badge. Okay. And then they have the bean counter version. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Uh, silk screen graphic logo makes it look like a badge and no special packaging. All right, okay, so it's a so silicon we fuzz. We have the deluxe extra special version. We have, I uh, and I have a bandana, and I may wear it. <laughs> I'm disappointed that you're not wearing it. Right, um, amps today are Dan's aforementioned matchless C30 head and the uh, Two Rock Classic Reverb Signature. Just a couple of crappy amps we found <laughs> lying around. You have to forgive us. It's the first time in the new place, and we're a little bit excited. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Daniel, son, if you don't mind, yes, here's the sound so. of the amps then. Righteous noises.
that is Flutie McDooty. Super, it's beautiful. Super honky mid-range, isn't it? Yet more OCD problems, Dan. Sorry, dude. Ah, the curtains knocked down. Whenever I hear the curtains, might have to just stop, stop and start again. Right. What's the um? Ah, uh, Andy Timmons and I were wetting ourselves over this. Is that is that um? That Monty Python thing. Son, <coughs> son, one day all of this will be yours. <laughs> what? The curtains. <laughs> It's got that real mid mid range. Sixties, sixties fuzz, isn't it's it? It's incredible. One thing I really like about it is that so that's very fuzzy, very mid-focused, and everything. If we if we lower the input range down a bit, so you play for us. Same thing again, but uh, if I turn the input up, just use your volume control. Doesn't sound like a fuzz face. No. At all. No. Um, it has a much more vocal mid-range and it mm. rolls off the bass really nicely. So I think if you were using it, an amp that had some gain in it, uh, it wouldn't muddy up too bad. No. I like it very much. It's beautiful. Yep, 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 yep. We'll have more of their stuff on the show in coming weeks. Sure. I've been messing around with the compressor, which I really like, Surpri oh, surprisingly. Yeah, wow. Well. The L L A two A thing. Can't remember what it's actually called, but it's based on that. Yeah, yeah. Optical electronics type thing. Yeah. <coughs> nice. Lovely. Okay. Um, Fender MTG tube distortion. I've been trying to find out what MTG stands for. Uh, with no luck. So the best I can come up with is meeting. Yes. It's a, it's an acronym for meeting. Um, it's also. Here we go. Uh, methanol to gasoline. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Is something that happens in the in in the United States, a process by which you turn methyl methanol into gasoline. So Brilliant. maybe maybe the raw methanol unpleasantness of of this turns into gasoline through there. It's also, and I, I think this is the most likely one. It's right. the uh, Meteostat third generation. Ah, of course. So um, Meteostat being a uh, 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 Meteosat, sorry, a satellite that does weather. Okay. Um, and it's the third generation of those. 
Ah, okay. And when Fender at its heyday, or sorry, during Fender's first heyday <laughs> of the 1950s, they were fascinated with the space race, right? Right. Which is why the Stratocaster <coughs> is called the Stratocaster, because it was the Stratosphere. Okay. So I'm, I'm going with um, the Meteosat third generation. I like it. Tube distortion. Let's do that. More interestingly, it has a 6205 military valve in it, military spec valve. Okay. Running at reasonable plate voltage according to them. I don't know what that might be. Right. It, um, they say it's running at decent plate voltage. And to be fair, it requires nearly 300 milliamps and 9 volts. So that's conceivable. Sure. Given that most of Simon Jarrett's pedals take 500 milliamps, don't they? For, yeah, to power a 12 AX7. Yeah. So if a 6205 is one of those mini tubes, don't yeah. know, never seen one. Sure. Cool, more, okay. That was more information than you needed, but I thought it was important. I'm still trying to come up with something for MTG. I come up with two things that I can't mention. <laughs> so, anyway. Massive tone generator. Massive tone generator. There we go. Very good. Uh, <laughs> all right, moving along. <laughs> Reverb coming from, from the your amplifier. Is it? Yes. Is there no? Oh, hang on. Uh, I believe that. No, there's no reverb on the matchless. Really? Oh, sorry. There was a reverb on it. Now the reverb has been turned off on the matchless. Uh, yeah, it was just quite. It didn't need to be turned off. It was just quite a lot. I'm surprised by that, but it does sound really nice. Hang on, uh, a bit more level. Can I tell you? Yeah, I hear it with red first, then I'm going to put the yeah, yeah. master in. Awesome. It's killer, isn't it? That's really great. That's really nice. While you swap to the Leicester, I'll see what we've got in the lower gain department. Okay. It's 
really nice. It's really nice. Right, I haven't touched this guitar, I haven't tuned this guitar. This is the last time I used it. Let's see. Oh, not bad, not bad. front end. seeing if it's warm. Okay. It's really nice. That is really nice. Mm. Um, it has a lovely front end of that note. Always a little bit nervous about uh, tube overdrive pedals because they mm. can be really tricky with the front end of, of a valve amp. Mm -hmm. you can, it can just really cave in on itself and get really squashy, but that just feels really nice mm. under, the, under the old fingers. I would imagine if you had a light touch and you were into all the inflections and stuff. Um, plenty of ni nice top end so it stays articulate and then you can roll off that bottom end as you need because things get a bit flubby as you add the bass on, right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you can just cut that back a bit. Any other features on the back? LEDs? So yeah, turns the LEDs and the knobs yeah. off. Love that. Just to uh, stop you burning your eyes out. Mm -hmm. I've, I think that's a, I think that's cracking. Yeah, the tight knob here is that, so it's that bottom end control, which Go is on, really lovely. If you um, just you give us a open E, bottom, bottom E. you'd really hear that if you were using a 412. Yeah, that sub thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, you're chugging away there and it's just everywhere and you need to just eke it back a bit to keep it tight. Really good, really, 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 really nice that. Yeah, well I mean, done guys. Yeah, okay, um, Diamond Vibrato. Diamond Vibrato. Favourite of Stephen Wilson? Yes, uh, favourite of mine. Yeah. And Stephen was looking for a new vibrato and I said, you must try this. And he loves it. So, awesome. it's a vibrato with a mix control. So, you can turn it into a chorus. Um, so, vibrato by itself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I love it. Really cool thing about this, 24 volts, and it uses the um, the old memory man. The chips. MN3008-5? The MN3008s. And it's, I think it's very, very special. You've I, got a expression, you can plug in an expression pedal for the speed and depth. Yeah. That, um, the, the, so when we went silly there and we were doing the really, really sick sounds obviously that is crazy and it's you could probably layer it in somewhere in a track and it would sound really cool it's not the kind of sound you would use front and center of things but as you do su uh, some subtlety there in a wet dry rig where mm -hmm. one side's just it's massive isn't it it's incredible it's colossal yeah it's very very special i love that infinite um adjustment between chorus and vibrato yeah so you can just get it just where you want yeah yeah, it's really, really nice. Yeah, it's um, perfect. So this was two levels of... Of depth. Of depth. Yeah. And then what's this? That says jazz, jazz on it? So, yeah, it's a little bit darker in the jazz mode. Yeah, takes some top end off. Can I just hear that a sec? Yeah, sure. Schofield was playing that, it would have sounded cool. Nice. John Schofield, let me see if I can do a bit of a John Schofield thing. Just, just play, do that what you're doing just then again. Okay, um, need to play some, some Dorian, don't we? I don't know, don't know any Dorian. Oh, I knew a Dorian once. He'd have a bit more um, depth, yep. I think. I can only apologise to anyone who understands jazz at this point. <laughs> That was John. I think John Schofield was actually in the room. Yeah. He's behind the curtain and he was playing a guitar at that point. <laughs> He's throwing banana skins at the telly at this point, isn't he? <laughs> anyway. Killer. I absolutely love that thing. Absolutely killer. Classic, classic, yep. classic. Yep, 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 yep. Right. Hall of Fame 8. Uh, Surely, just the Hall of Fame 2 times 4. 
It is. Which is what it says on there. It is, with some clever bits thrown in. So okay. we have the Hall of Fame mash switch. Yes. Which is, it's so clever. It's an expression pedal basically underneath the foot switch. So it is, if we go to a, uh, a more extreme version, so if you play for us. Okay. Right. So here we go. Actually, I'll make sure the reverb's turned off on everything else. Yeah, turn the reverb off in the other amplifiers. So. Right. Goodbye, lovely two rock reverb. So there's that reverb sound, but now if I start putting pressure on the foot switch. The vibrato in the tail? Sorry. Don't talk over the tail. But there's a vibrato in the tail here. Here you go. More high end reflections, was it, or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You can settle this, by the way. If you use the um, tone print editor, you can decide what the mash switch is going to do, and it has multiple levels of doing as well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So you go to a sound, for example, let's say, I'm not really a fan of that massive thing, so let's say I want to do it. I am. Okay, well, let's do one that you're not a fan of. Come in, Cometheus. Your father is willing to see you. I beg of you, father, please let me go free. <laughs> All right. So let's bring up a, let's bring up a, a modulator reverb. Yep. So, so once you've got your sound, you're going to just store it. So the idea is you've got four instantly accessible presets off the top panel, right? Exactly. And then, well, you've got eight. You have four. And then if I hit that thing again, it goes to eight. Right. How so do you... So green is one and red is another. Green is one bank. Yeah. Red is another bank. Nice. So you got, yeah, you can really easily get to eight different reverb sounds. Okay. Um, that's very cool because it's also extremely cost effective, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's like crazy, not, I'm not going to say cheap, but I think it's crazily co cost effective right. compared to other multifunction uh, reverbs. A couple of questions. Does it have MIDI? Yes. I don't believe it does. Oh, sorry, it does. Oh my goodness, it does. Are they just there for sure? There you then, go. Daniel? No, they are. Well, awesome. MIDI, nice. Okay, so let's have a listen to some of the, the uh, reverb engines, why don't we? Okay, actually, let me go back to, let me go about this for a second. Yep. So at its heart, uh, at the heart of the Hall of Fame two times four, the Hall of Fame eight, as we've now recalled it, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different reverb engines. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll, let's just have a quick plump through them, shall we? Sure. Uh, Hoff.
that's lush. It's a gate. the tape delay on and things start to happen just so just quickly because we have to do a big show on this because this is this is really important this is the echo fix the ef x2 tape echo which is a space echo new sort of space echo we're going to do a big space echo show our, Get spa them all our space echo is broken down so we need to have it fixed before we can do the comparison but just to give it a run up dan was itching to hear his new app
Oh man! Well, I thought, I thought it's were... just well, I've, no, I, I thought, could I could go on for ages, I but thought no. We were going off into one. Yeah, yeah I was getting ready, but boy, oh boy, cool, majestic. Anyway, there we go. Some really, really, really killer. I mean, that is a complete board, isn't yeah. it? Right there, easy peasy. Yeah, yeah. Tons of sounds. Yeah, incredible. Happy incredible. days. Incredible. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He's, He's happy. Days. New amp, new delay uh, thing, new studio. I can't wait to hear what the audio sounds like. I'm excited. Me too. I just can't hide it. Brilliant, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Are you about to lose control? I think I like it. And you think you like it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've only just learnt this, but if you don't click on the bell, even if you subscribe, if you don't click on the bell, you won't necessarily know that we've uploaded a new video. So do, do click the bell, that'd be great. Um, massive thank you to our preferred retailers, massive thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys. Um, details below, if you wanna go to specific bits of gear, go in the description. Also, if you're looking for a bit of gear that we have demoed, go to our database on our website and just type in the bit of gear you're looking for and you'll see all the videos where that gear has appeared. Hooray. Hooray, indeed. Nice, that'll be thatpedalshow.com. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.